Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm there was a Medusa, E-I-E-I-O. With a farm farm here and a farm... What? 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 I have, to, I have to do the show? Stop playing Medusa? But I can't farm if I don't play Medusa. Okay, alright. Okay, fine. And I'll be there in one second. Well, a week has gone by, and I know that you missed me, but we're back. I'm no longer playing Medusa, and another week of Dota news is here. Universe joins Dignitas. I told you so. GEST details are up, and the G League is delayed. Uh, but don't worry. It's your first pick for Dota 2 news. I'm What Is Hip. It's January 11th, and this is Around the Fountain. Now, you might have noticed that the show did not air on Tuesday. From now on, for at least a while, Around the Fountain is going to be a Friday-only show. This is because I just started full-time school again and honestly don't have time to air the show twice a week. But I hope you guys continue to subscribe and watch the show and enjoy it once a week. As a result, it's going to be a little bit longer. GEST in 2012 was really good. Both Dota 1 and Dota 2 were played, and there's a new season coming up, and we've got a few details for you. According to Gosu Gamers, both games will again be in the 2013 season, and the season will be eight months long, starting in March and culminating in October. Teams will gather points in an unspecified number of games and will gather for the main event in November. With that, the exact way that the tournament goes down will not be known, but keep in mind that it's mostly a Southeast Asian tournament, mainly for local teams. Don't worry, there's going to be the GEST challenge coming back again, but we'll keep you updated with more details as soon as they're out. It's been rumored for a while now that Pulse will be disbanding, and it's now confirmed after they leave the D2L, the Dota 2 League, hosted by Raid Call, along with We Has Asians. They will be replaced by 3D Max and Virtus Pro. Here's a statement by Aaron AC Chambers, caster of the D2L. While it's always negative to see teams disband, I'm still very excited to have Virtus Pro and 3D Max entering the field. Virtus Pro is a squad that's performing very well lately, and 3D Max is a team with a lot of potential, and we might get to see them grow in front of our eyes the way Fnatic EU did in Season 1. I'm very good friends with a number of the players on We Has Asians and Pulse, and all of us here at the D2L hope they land on their feet and find home quickly. Until then, though, I can't imagine any two better squads to have taken up their place than those we managed to pick up in Virtus Pro and 3D Max. Uh, uh, I told you so. Universe replaces Snake King on Dignitas. It's now official. Universe will complete the Dignitas lineup. Here's the roster. Fogs is still captain, with the remaining members comprised of Tides of Time, AUI 2000, Way Too Sexy, and Universe. Team Dignitas Dota Manager Monolith had this to say. We're really blessed to have Universe on our team. He's a high-level player that has a lot of experience in competitive Dota and fits with our lineup well. He was the obvious pickup for good reasons and proved that even more during our time practicing together. AUI2000 has been casting with Toby Wan for the defense, so if you're a big fan of his, make sure you hunt down the VODs over there. Neo Dota have launched a new King of the Hill style tournament. Each team will battle their way to the top and attempt to win three matches in a row for a killing spree. If a team can win three matches in a row while they are the king for that killing spree, then they're rewarded $100, with an additional 100 for each win after that. The matches will be commentated by Jurassic and Mott. One of the interesting things about the Killing Spree tournament, the production level is promised to be one of the best of any tournament so far. There will be a pre-game show hosted by Mott, joined by Merlini and Painted Gold. The intro videos sort of give a ESPN vibe and I'm really looking forward to the tournament. Each match will be a best of three and the teams participating are Evil Geniuses, Fnatic North America, Team Dignitas, and Team Liquid. The games start today, January 11th, and the VODs will be available over at the Neo Dota YouTube just a few hours after the games happen. The first season of the Dota Boat Tournament is all over and L Pride are the victors. After a few weeks of ladder games and two days of in-house tournament, they beat XX5 for $1,000. The next season of the Dota Bro Tournament is not announced, but we'll be sure to keep you keen to the details. Yeah, so the main part of the G League is finally over. IG triumphed over LGD China 3-0, which means they haven't lost a single game the entire tournament. Scary. They go on to the finals where they'll meet LGD International. Those guys defeated Tong Fu in the semis 3-0 as well, and though they don't have an undefeated record, they're fearsome nonetheless. 
With these two great teams in the finals and the third place decider still to be played, you might ask what the problem is. Well, the problem is that there's no date for the finals yet. It's rumored that the finals might happen in late February or early March, meaning we might have to wait as long as a month and a half to two months for the conclusion of this amazing tournament which has had great day-to-day -day coverage thus far. The good news is there's tons of VODs available to watch, so if you missed a couple of the games like me, you can watch those. Well, another week and another Dota patch, and finally we have Medusa in Dota 2. So here's what I'm suggesting, just hear me out, hear me out here, I know this sounds crazy, but an all-mid, all-farm tournament where each team can only pick out of the following heroes, Medusa, Annie Mage, Spectre, and Faceless Void. Now I know there's a couple more carries, but I'm really looking for maximum slow rice burning. We're talking rice cooker time. I'm also thinking this could be the first viewer participation tournament. Each person can get themselves a very dull knife, so when the boredom becomes too unbearable, you have a choice. Either you can end the match and be in pain, or end yourself and be in pain. I'm pretty sure half of this idea is awesome and half of it is terrible, but you can decide that. Other than Medusa, we've got a few new additions. Drow has lost the last of her face paint, dropping the Keith Urban Soul Patch. Mid only has been added as an option to private lobbies, now Sing can't fountain dive by a tier 3 tower. Also available in private lobbies are Balance Shuffle, where the hidden matchmaking system will divide all 10 players into balance teams, and an option for all chat. Now the way the patch notes explain it is a bit confusing, so let's see if we can help you out. This feature will allow each team to hear everyone in-game via voice chat, along with anyone in the broadcaster and unassigned slots, which is pretty neat if you're testing things out or want to bring your being and ass to the maximum level. The share announcer panel has changed to a shared content panel and will announce at the start of the game if any content is available, along with a small number below it showing how many items are available to choose from. People can now choose other announcers, multi-kill announcers, and at some point, most likely soon, a HUD skin. Finally, some bugs have been squashed and bots get more and more updates. Soon we're going to find out if bot development was funded by Skynet and it's just an elaborate plot to take over the world. I, for one, welcome our new Mabel bot overlords. Now, here's the question for this week. What's the status of G League? A. It's so awesome, it's the best tournament ever. B. What the hell, why do I have to wait for the finals? C. It's a cool standard tournament, but nothing special. D. Who watches G League when I can watch Sing Sing get chased by a bear? <laughs> the bear got him. That's funny. For more updates, please subscribe, and I'll see you next Friday. This was What a Sip, and you were watching Around the Fountain.